Welcome back to Master of Orion 2, Battle at Antares. We're still preparing for an offensive against Antares, but technology is lagging behind, and our strength overall, our fleet strength, is just not up to scratch. So onwards to colonize the entire galaxy and build our strength. Once our Imperial fleet is complete, then we shall strike. Everything, everything good. Farmers replacing people in farming. That should boost our science output because humans do have that science research bonus we selected. Oh, so many colonies reaching the peak of their productive capacity. Good, more people. We need, we need that. Stellar Converter. Yes, oh yes. Stargate, uh, Stargate is useful, but we have fast ships. Stellar Converter, however, that is the ultimate weapon. Also huge, but the ultimate weapon nonetheless. Mauler device, not bad. Not bad. In fact, everything's quite good at the upper echelons of the tech tree. But we need dimensional portal. So, to get to the dimensional portal, we need something in a plasma rifle. We're not going to do much ground fighting anymore. Plasma cannon, perhaps. I think that's it. So, three techs down. Yeah. I think that's it. So. Plasma Cannon also kind of does the same thing as a Stellar Converter, but not quite the same thing. You can't Planet Bust with Plasma, only with a Stellar Converter. Too much food. Let's get our fellow humans out of farming and into more enjoyable workplaces. of those to transport food around. We're starting to have a lot of colonies to manage now. This is the well, one of the reasons why I chose a fairly small galaxy, because it can get tedious to micromanage all those colonies, but if you auto-build, you set to auto-build, the AI ugh, is just not very good. Alright, 
plasma cannon done. Let's move on to... What? We need shields. Shields, we, it would be nice. But also... No, that's not good. Inertial nullifier. That's for... Hmm, displacement device. Anything can miss. That's good. And wide area jammer is also good, so... Let's go for that. To put to our fleet beacon. Pollution control facility. Uh, that'll be useful in Trollarian colonies. Let's get that done, in fact. This is a Trollarian colony. Okay. And no, humans don't need pollution processing. They like pollution, they are tolerant to it. 25 for a nemesis. Okay, let's get on that. Fellow Pulrathis. Ah, Silicoid. Peace Treaty. Okay. I will accept that. I do not wish to destroy you. For now. Even though that would bring points come the end of the game. We're not going for a high score. If we were, we would be playing a very, very big galaxy. Population and whatnot gives a lot of points. And we're stealing everything they've got. Soon they'll have no underwear. Shudder at the thought. Silicoid without underwear. Do they even wear clothes? Do they need clothes? Are they also made of rock? So many questions. One nemesis complete. Let's get farmers. A few freighters. Might come in handy. Let's get ready to attack the Guardian. We've got three... Five Titans! That should be enough, I think. Alright, fellow humans, science is your job now. Don't really need more ships. Those will start costing money soon. 33 extra is good. And a lot of science. Took you a long time to build anything. Let's just go for that as well. We'll change it back if there's anything good to build later on. We need more science, however. So much food now. It was such a problem for such a long time that it's almost weird. There's too much food. We'll need more freighters though. Yeah, lots more freighters. That'll go nicely with our fleet beacon. Alright, let's go get... Um... Oh, that's the very last tier. The molecular electronic computer is very good to hit things. That... man... 30% at everything. We're not really hurting for production worm. It's 
so let's go for that. Telepath. Ah, for spying. But environmentalism and... That's really no good. Ah, we do get telepathic training. Do we not have telepathic training? I think we do. I think. Yeah, so telepathic training, yes we do. Okay, attack Orion. Colony ship is waiting on the sideline. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. The Guardian is hitting hard. But we have the strength in numbers. Even if we lose one or two ships. Oh, those are plasma torpedoes. That racket. We also have torpedoes. Yeah, I think our titans are more than a match. Those gauss cannons are... freaking havoc. Almost seemed easy. I uh, still lost one. Glorious Orion, the fabled lost civilization. Loknar, and plenty of good technology. You were just waiting to be rescued. How old are you? Teach us the old ways, Lochnar. And then trade goods, I think. After a farm. Science, science, science. Science also gives you extra victory points, even if you just research future technology afterwards. So once you're past the point of needing more production, eh, science really is the way to go. There's only so many ships you can uh, feel at once. Command points become a limitation. If you really need a huge fleet, then a warlord pick might be good for your civilization, but I don't think we'll ever need it in such a small galaxy. And with already submitted, submitted enemies. Well, Lochnar. Not a very good ship, and no shields. If you were bigger, maybe. Can you go to... Can you not travel there? Can you go to Rex. Survey the silicoids. Need more freighters to transport all that food. The galaxy is pretty much ours now. Neptunus. Neptunus has a lot of planets. We need more colony leaders. Perseo has lots of colonists. 
trying to maximize Ungal, still has tiny, not very developed planets there. I'm trying to see if it's a time to move leaders somewhere else. And Zoo, yeah, still small. Andromeda. Yeah, they have quite big planets there. Not all maximum population yet. Okay, maybe we can keep them as is, or move uh, Raleigh somewhere else other than Sol. Or Perseo might not need it as much as Neptunus, perhaps. Ah, eh, too close to call. Colonize Orion. Our destiny is fulfilled. Green and lush it is. Ultra rich. Orion special. Gaia planet. Yeah, I think we've got enough spies to do the job against the puny silicone. We can go back to Sol, have a few ships refit perhaps at some point, and build a dimensional portal to attack Antares. Good, very good. Displacement device will prevent hitting 30%. Gonna also be very good. Thirty percent of what's coming your way, no longer coming your way. Pretty damn good. Maybe we should design. Maybe later. I was thinking maybe we should design an alternative Doom Star that's not a fleet beacon. But I'm not sure it's really necessary to have more than one. I mean, they're planet sized ships. For the cool factor. You can have an entire fleet of planets. Luke wouldn't be in such a confused state of mind when the TIE fighter is escaping not to one planet, but uh, a flock of planets. No doubt it's a space station then. Finish the nemesis. Do we need any more? Almost out of command points. Displacement device shouldn't take long. Then we have adamantium armor. there. Stellar converter and hyperspace communications here. Yeah. 
that be that be what we want. Huh, almost a rare occurrence, a new colony. You're done terraforming as well, so do it some more. One more nemesis. Well, we need farmers here. No, we have the uh, natives. Yeah. Producing, yes, you're producing food unnecessarily. Nope, don't transport it, just move jobs. Don't change planets. Ah, nope, don't need to click that. Yeah, so many tiny colonies still. Science, move to science, and now well, we have a deficit. Won't last long. See? that. And new planet. Oh, no, no housing. Farmer. Good. Good, good, good. Class 10 shields. Get a farmer and a university. You're also done with the nemesis. Same. So many nemesis now. Robotic factory. Let me guess. Farmer. Yes, more farmer. Why are so many of you producing food here? Hmm. Oh, we're actually short on food for once. Too, too long, too, too long. Class 10 shields will make a hell of a difference against uh, anything coming our way. Science, my friends, we need science. 
production is overrated in the late game. Unless you're stuck in a never-ending war. The mouse system will go supernova in 12 years. We need research. Oh my, whatever shall we do? It's not like we are great at researching things. Yeah, this is Maho Prime. <laughs> How convenient. Let's see if they can research anything to save their son. S U N son. All scientists, all scientists. Miser, you can also go do something else. Another poop ocean planet. Thank God we can terraform this. Simulator as a bonus overall, so preferable to just plus four food. All right, let's get some terraforming, some farming, and complete your build queue. Shield's almost done. Come on, 92%. Oh boy. Now we're ready. Oh, um, adamantium armor. Yeah, we still need a maximum armor. Oh, misclick. Terraform that. Farm this. We don't need more nemesis. Let's, um... Some more freighter fleets. Can never have enough of those right now. Research. That's a lot of research. What I meant, no, not the Serpent Cannon. Dimensional Portal. Terraforming done. You need more farmer. Self-sustainability, friends. Self-sustainability. If every planet produces enough food to sustain itself, freighter fleets will not be such high demand. But in the meantime... Yeah, I was guessing with such super research, we would be able to do that. Space communications. Yeah, I think we'll get that over the Mahler device to then get the stellar converter. So, 
I think hyperspace communications it is, because we're also short on command points. And that should take all of two turns at our current research rate. Now, we'll get one dimensional portal. One is more than enough. Okay, build a planet, build a base. Our strategy will be to refit our ships to current technology, and once we have those done, strike at the heart of the alien menace. But quite a lot of preparation is due. These are starting to get tedious. I might just cut a few build order shifting around parts of the, the video just to speed things along for you. One more star base. They need a pollution processor, processor because they're Trillarian. And one more nemesis. No more room. Ah. Can we send you somewhere? Like Orion, for instance. There you go. Looks good. Hyperspace communications. Let's get the armor. And we're back with Adamantium Armor Researched. And onwards to the very few last technologies. Stellar Converter will come in quite handy. Quite handy indeed. it's time we refit uh, our battleship sized ships to oh I don't think we've designed <laughs> I haven't designed a replacement any good look for it not really so what can we add displacement device of course I think that's pretty much it for battleship size. So, laser cannons replace with particle beams. Forward. And Gauss cannons. I think we'll keep, perhaps. Not reduced by range. Yeah. A few more torpedoes with the extra space, a few more cannons. Yeah, I think that's enough of a change to merit a redesign. Let's go with a spiky front. So, refit that, refit that. Three turns, refit that. And also this one. So four. I think that's enough, perhaps, for one colony. Let's shift everyone to production. Should be quick. Actually, I think we can refit one more like that. At the same time, other colonies refit bigger ships. That'll take a longer time. This one will do all the battleships. All right, so we're into production, and let's start refitting. 
Infidel. Two turns. Alright, so double the time. Double the time, you can do half the ships. Uh, let's do another one first then. Alright. If we do all in one planet, they are quick here. And then the dimensional quarter. It's our most productive planet, I think. And you're doing the fleet command. Let's just see if we can squeeze anything in. Displacement device, we could fit. Uh, wide area jammer, we need. What can we switch out for? Not much. Maybe the hard shields, but. So. Oh. Get one of those. Because they had no point defense, huh? But we already have pulsars. Ah, it's a bit of a difficult choice. Maybe we'll have both. But fewer of each. Particle beams for point defense, just in case. I think that's it for the fleet command ship. So, new design, old one, out. Can we... actually we can. Why not? Have so much. There might not be room. Okay, so just one then. You go to Orion or something? Sure, go to Orion. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. Now that we've bought it, we actually don't need the production. So, Neptunus, are you refitting any of the ships? You were not, so do that. quickly. And then go back to your nothing. Alright. Mahu. Yes, I've got one ship to refit here. Do that. I have the deep core mine. That'll help. But focus on that. Virgo. Refit that. Trade goods after. Concentrate on that. Draw Massa the same. Refit. and Ungol. Both. Okay. Titan. After the trade goods. We will have a mighty fleet very, very soon. Let's go. Let's wrap up that queue and get to the juicy bits. Stellar Converger complete. Guy transformation is great, but evolutionary mutation is better. Naturally, one in which 
I wish we were a creative species, but... Hmm. And yes, you can planet mount these. <laughs> Ship mount and planet mount. We'll be doing some uh, Doom Star construction now. So, Doom Star Invincible. No, not augmented engines. Battle pods. Displacement device. Hard shields. Multi phase shields. The reinforced hull shield capacitor. And great big weapons. Torpedoes. The obligatory stellar converter. Pulsar for defense, and close quarters, let's get a few of those, and then beam weapons, I think we can keep the theme going and go for a 4x weapon like the Stellar Converter, and point defense particle beams just in case. And there it is, a planet-destroying Death Star. Oh yes, it will be quite operational. Indeed. In winter. Uh, maybe not. Seems like a bit much. Five turns is a lot. Thirty-five turns is a lot. You are mineral abundant. Yeah, fifty turns, forget it. No. Oh. Maho Prime, Ultra Poor. Hmm. Perseo Prime. Abundant. Still not it, but closer. So let's go. Sol 2. Get that going. Alright, muster the fleet at Seoul, where the dimensional portal will be completed. Momentarily. And once our transition to the dark side is complete, we can go into the actual dark side, the other dimension where the Terrans work. that done. Soil enrichment, yes. Yes, thank We want that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we also want great big weapons that can destroy anything that comes near us. Lots of those. Fleet moving. Let's save. We're nearing the key moment. Evolutionary mutation for extra points. An Imperium. For the final cherry on top of the cake. Four extra points. I don't think we actually need any extra characteristics. We'll just take the extra 40% score, thank you. You could maybe go for Warlord or something like that if you're in need, but we're really not. We have more than enough command points. Moving on, I think, I think we can afford to just outright buy one of these. I mean, we have 50,000, so let's do that. 
You can build stuff, doesn't really matter now. Alter science. One stellar converter. Trade goods. You the same. I think, yeah. Stellar converter, power forming. All the science. Ungal, yes, my dear. In three turns, I think we'll have the most powerful fleet the galaxy has ever seen. And truly, the Galactic Empire. Now that we have Imperium government. And to finish off, the Tech Tree Galactic Currency Exchange. And now on to Future Tech. That is... Vague. To the future and beyond. All these construction trees complete, a few extra planets where we can. And complete our fleet for the final attack. A bit of time passed, constructing and moving ships around that were refit or recently built. Dimensional portal finished, leaders assigned. Let's save just before the final push. Four Doom Stars should be more than enough. Destination Antares. Yes, that'll get anyone in the mood, but look at this. An enormous fleet. What is that, a black hole generator? Oh no! If we do not destroy the emitting ship quickly, it will completely destroy our invincible Doom Star. General, destroy the emitting ship. Stellar Converter engaged. They will soon be down. Mission accomplished, Admiral. Move on to secondary objectives. That is one great big star fortress. Concentrate your firepower. They are no match for our planetary busting. They killed no marines. They must have protection against the death rays. Still no effect. Move all ships forward. They don't stand a chance.
their defenses are wearing thin. They will not be able to hold out for much longer. One ship down! Honor the dead! And move forward! is now yours to command. You have crushed all opposition beneath your heel. You rule the greatest empire in living history. Its soldiers' bravery at your command. Your army is undefeatable. Your fleets patrol the skies of every planet and galaxy. This galaxy. <laughs> but other challenges await. The Master of Orion. And that is Master of Orion 2. Our score is not exceptionally good. The galaxy is small, we did not pursue a high score strategy. But that is a fantastic strategy game that will stand the test of time. Indeed, indeed it is. One of the best ever to play. So folks, that's it for Master of Orion 2. Till next time.